good evening everyone this is abhish jain and today i'll be taking a session and happy mahashivratri to everyone before we begin please go through the disclaimer once hope all of you are able to hear my voice and see the screen friends can i get quick replies from everyone please all right so let's get started <clears throat> today we have a topic of advanced candlestick patterns now how many of you have uh, heard about the advanced candlestick patterns or uh, are practicing it on a regular basis Okay, so Praveen has heard about it. So Praveen, are you practicing it on a regular basis? Uh, <clears throat> and if yes, then how you are uh, taking help of that? You are entering into the trades. Uh, <clears throat> you are not using it. okay all right <clears throat> so this is the today's session is an extended version of the candlestick basic session that we had in the beginning of this program but here since we have covered the uh, some key levels like engulf mip swaps like that and even bbfl for that matter we have more clarity as to how to approach our charts uh, with the with the with the buyers to take a trade all right so generally these are conventional candlestick patterns which people use and uh, they don't relate the price action with it okay they don't relate the price action with it and uh, <clears throat> today i'm going to give you that understanding as to what all patterns are there as such and then i'm going to take you through the application of it which is more important and for that you need to have clear understanding of the angles so can i get confirmation from everyone if you are very much clear with the angles part are you all clear with the angles how to take a trade on source of angle for origin of the angle what should be the target of the angle are you all clear with that all right <clears throat> so there are like 50 to 60 candlestick patterns available uh, if you oh, if you read any candlestick pattern book then there will be probably 50 to 60 candlestick patterns but today i am just going to discuss 13 of them which are widely used and which are more important and they are more than enough for enhanced trading experience friends uh, <clears throat> basically the higher time frame candlestick patterns are more relevant so i i'll not advise you to look for these patterns below 60 minute chart the accuracy will increase as you go on to the higher time frame right so don't observe these patterns below 60 minute preferably if you are trading bias is let's say for positional okay you don't go looking for these patterns below daily am i clear in that all right so a quick recap of the candlestick basics before we begin so in candlestick basics we studied about the upper shadow real body and the lower shadow and we have high low open and close wherein if the close is above the open it is a bullish green candle or white candle for that matter and if we have the 
close below the open then we have a bearish red candle or black candle for that matter all right just simple basic thing just recap of that then there are few properties of candlesticks which we should be aware of they are first is the color so color can be the color is generally displayed as green or red in uh, colored charts or white and black in black and white charts so black is for red white is for green so green candles are considered to be bullish <coughs> as the closing is higher than the open <coughs> and red candles are bearish as the closing is lower than the open all right everyone clear with this then comes the body size we also studied about the body expanded range and narrow range so the body size represents the degree to which the bulls overcome the bears in case of a green candle or bears overcome the bulls in case of red candle so a large body shows increased commitment okay increased commitment and a small body shows reduced commitment basically reduced volume or increase in volume if the candlestick is an expanded range candle very wide candle then the volume will be comparatively higher than that of the narrow range candle or the buyers market participants buyers will be strongly on one side all right volume may not necessarily be uh, increased uh, in in uh, expanded range candle but there will be strong trend underlying the trend in case of an expanded range candle with the large real body all right then comes the range wide range and narrow range that is the high minus low so the range of candle is the distance between the high to the low a wide range candle shows increased volatility while a narrow range candle shows a reduced volatility all right and then comes the shadow location so we have upper shadow depicting the selling pressure because it is the difference between the upper body and the high and then the lower shadow it re represents the buying pressure that uh, when the price went down there was some rejection there and buying emerged and price close to uh, price managed to close above the low everyone clear with all these things i can i get replies from everyone please let's be attentive and more interactive and basically friends there are majorly two types of uses of candlestick patterns first one is where you look for confirmation we can use candlestick formations to take entries near or inside higher time frame zones it can be in intermediate or zoning time frames the candlestick patterns can appear on intermediate or zoning time frames totally up to us right and second is the scanning which majorly i use for my trading candlestick formations can be utilized for stock selection for trades mostly intraday and to be when the trade to be taken on lower time frame all right so when i am having a bias to hold the trade for not more than five trading sessions or a week as such then i use this kind of a pattern and if you are observing these patterns on higher time frame let's say above monthly then the holding period or the validity of that pattern is is longer than when you're looking at it on lower time frames let's say daily or weekly for that matter so majorly i use it for scanning and today i am going to discuss only that portion of uh, the candle candlestick patterns all right so let's get started with the patterns now many of you must have heard about this basic pattern that is the doji friends how many of you have heard about it doji all right so it looks somewhat like this it can be 
Now, all these patterns that we are going to study today, friends, they are going to be either bullish reversal or bearish reversal patterns. They are going to be simply reversal patterns as such. All right. <clears throat> so it can be a bullish or a bearish single candle reversal pattern. As you can see in this picture, it appears like this. The open is almost equal to the close in such candlestick pattern resulting in no or very small real body, very tiny one. It indicates indecision in the market and it shows that neither the bulls and nor the bears are in control. Neither party is in control there. The doji can be found at the top or at the bottom and the gravestone doji in the, which is the middle doji here is usually found at the top reversal because the significant upper shadow significant upper shadow in, in indicates strong selling pressure and while the dragonfly doji this doji uh, found at the bottom indicates strong rejection at the lower levels and indicates buying pressure because of this lower shadow so everyone clear with this how the pattern appears Just memorize this picture friends for each and every pattern just memorize this and understand that if it is a bullish reversal then it should be happening after a substantial drop in price. If it is a bearish reversal it should be happening after a substantial rally in price. Very simple panda. Okay and especially it should when it is coming down and it you are looking for a bullish reversal candle then or candlestick pattern as such, then you should be near an accumulation area or near a conventional support. Just opposite of that is when the substantial rally has happened, we are looking for bearish reversal candlestick patterns. It should ha be happening near a resistance area or, an, or a distribution level. This case will be applicable for all the candlestick patterns that we are going to be discussing today. All right, because we are looking for big, big reversals and we want complete trend change and therefore we are going to look for reversal patterns only at the extreme levels, top and bottom. All right. And anywhere in the middle, the probability of working up that candlestick pattern is almost close to 30 to 40 percent as compared to when it is it is forming after a prevailing trend like bullish reversal coming after a substantial fall in price is more strong than when it is coming in a uh, after a rally rally in price okay or in between the downtrend am i clear in that <clears throat> all right so for doji we need a for every candlestick pattern basically we need a trending market here we need an uptrend for a bearish reversal or a downtrend for a bullish reversal as i just mentioned now here with very small real body we can call this candlestick pattern as a doji now generally today i'm going to be discussing the ideal cases but you can take some leeway and if in this cat candle like there is some body there almost uh, open is equal to close but there is still some tiny body there so we can still call this as our doji you will not get the idle cases everywhere on the price chart it will be very difficult for you to find that but tell me like this is the doji this is also a doji right so which has the highest probability for a reversal this one point number one or point number two why after big rally point number two exactly see look at the prevailing move right so this market was trending here this market was sideways here right so we need 
we need a trending market for a reversal especially a vertical shape uh, a very steep trend should be there close to 90 degree all right now with every pattern i am going to be discussing about the confirmation okay so the confirmation comes when the price trades above the doji at the market bottom above the doji i mean to say the real body of the doji or below the doji at the market top by that i mean the real body of it in this case the doji is green right so as soon as market starts trading below the open of this candle i have confirmed reversal in place will i be jumping onto the trade there will i be jumping onto the trade as soon as i see this pattern if it is forming near a distribution area after a rally in price no right we are retest traders we are retest traders we are not going to jump on to any level without a proper zone or without the price action supporting that right so let's take an example here this is the sensex chart now the prevailing trend at the time like already there was substantial rally in price okay substantial rally in price after that we had this doji here now as soon as market started trading below the open this is a green candle so it should start trading below the open of this green candle we have a confirmation that a short term top is in place because the prevailing trend was strongly up all right now with each and every pattern i'm going to open the chart and going to discuss about the application part of it how to plan a trade there so basically in this case can you see that this is a zone here for us basically this is a zone after this candle confirms it and at the same time we have this engulf also so when price revisits this area we can plan a short trade we need to patiently wait for that now patterns they emerge because of institutional selling or institutional buying and there may be still some pending orders left there in this area so that is one part of the trading now we want to be in the trade as soon as the pattern emerges right the very next day we should be in the trade if the pattern is confirmed so how to go about that how should we be doing that i'll open the chart now for you my friends are you able to see my chart please confirm so i'll open uh, ghcl limited now can you see this friends that after after a substantial rally in price look at this what kind of rally was there a substantial up move right substantial up move was there and then towards the end of that towards the end of that i have this doji can you see this this area isn't it a doji right so when will this pattern be confirmed a uh, confirming the market top there short term market top once price starts trading below that haven't we got that we got it right we got it now we want to be in this trade as soon as possible now in the process of doing that see i'm going to use lot of uh, engulf today so in the process of doing that price also engulf this zone right this is a demand zone basically a bullish flag limit price engulfs that so at least price is going to crack till till this demand zone all right it is going to crack till this demand zone that is the opposite source of engulf so how do we take a trade there this pattern emerged on daily chart right so we can go on to the low time frame first time frame that we'll be looking at is 60 minute so 60 minute like the candle candlestick pattern was confirmed on this day 21st of october 21st of october 2016 so the very next day we want to be in the trade 
because the underlying momentum immediately after the train uh, after the engulf is going to be down so we want to be in that trade as soon as possible so basically i look at the doji i looked at the close of the next day which is which happened below that and that gave me the confirmation that the engulf is there the market top is there i should be looking to take short trades there so therefore i am going on to the low time frame 60 minutes in this case and here also what i'll do is uh, i'm not getting data here so here basically there was there was a zone on the left uh, actually i opened that on my laptop so understand that there was a zone on the left which which was engulfed by this down move okay which was engulfed by this down move now this happened on 21st of october so immediately then very next day very next day i want to be in that short trade i have this zone with me here i have this zone with me here okay this is a drop based drop everyone agrees to this now there was a zone which also got engulfed on the 60 minute chart okay so as soon as price arrives in my zone now i looked at the the, uh, the pattern on the daily chart so it is going to hold for at least one week a daily candle pattern is going to hold for at least one week that is one time frame above that a weekly candle pattern is going to hold for at least one month and similarly like that one time frame higher is its validity so i can continue holding on to this trade i can plan my entry here i can plan my stop loss here and target the opposite source of engulf should we take trade if only the pattern is there and not the engulf no <clears throat> see with every pattern every each and every reversal pattern definitely there will be an engulf on the low time frame and additionally if the the retracement to your source of engulf is not happening immediately if it is not happening immediately then we are going to look for price action entry that is engulf on arrival again therefore we will be increasing our rr we may fine tune this zone further onto the low time frame if required because you may not want to hold on to this uh trade like just like that okay so first it was confirmed drop based drop here so you look for you look for engulf on arrival so engulf on arrival happened here right this this demand zone got engulfed here so just near the top of that is my origin of the engulf but my higher time frame is very close to that so instead of taking an entry at 277 i may plan to uh, take an entry at 2880 and keep my stop loss above that the parent zone and take a short trade therefore my stop loss is reduced by almost 3 rupees so i am doing i am looking at the engulf on arrival again look at this this was the demand zone basically drop base rally got engulfed this is the origin of that engulf this down move caused that engulf now as such the source of engulf is this zone source of engulf is this zone but i want to be in this trade for big big targets so i want to provide my trade some breathing room by keeping the stop loss above the higher time frame zone and target will be the opposite source of engulf on the higher time frame which i just mentioned the opposite zone will be based on the daily chart that i had marked the rally base rally this one here 260 260 will be my opposite zone all right so 260 will be my target now if i keep my target based on the higher time frame look at the rr that i stand to make look at this almost 4.6 is to 1 and isn't the price taking some pause there so my target is not that bad and in between just look at this we got one expanded range or momentum green candle here and one comparatively smaller green candle here rest all the candles from that level were all bearish majorly or narrow range candles if they are green 
so i am in the impulsive down move my trade is supported by the impulsive trend there so at all times i am going to look for angles now various combinations of angles i am going to be discussing today but you understand at least how i am approaching my trades how i am planning my trades and i'll be using the uh, candlestick patterns only for scanning today not for confirmation because before the confirmation is there you have an engulf on the lower time frame engulf is the most leading price action indicator we have with us now you must have seen many many charts like the recent most example is the reliance trade where we planned a 1025 long entry with a stop loss of just 10 to 12 rupees and it shot up from that by giving us almost 200 points so if you had taken that trade based on the lower time frame engulf it was a 100 is to 1 trade friends 100 is to 1 and very short like maze it was the target was achieved in just 10 days close to 10 days 10, 10 trading sessions so engulf is most leading indicator i am going to be using the candlestick patterns for my scanning purpose and my target will also be based on the engulf that is the opposite source of engulf isn't that we start what we studied in the engulf session friends i am not getting any replies can you please reply uh heman ji aap uh, log out karke log in kijiye uh, i think baki sabhi ko to awaaz aa rahi hai uh pradeep ji you have a question yes please uh, type in I think uh, you need to restart your modem. Haman ji, आप आपका modem internet का modem restart करके देखिए एक बार. Probably connectivity issue है. Uh, okay. <clears throat> my, as such, I did not ask any question. Uh, my statement was that I am only going to be focusing on the candlestick patterns for scanning purpose. and i am not going to enter into the trade based on conventional method i am going to look for engulfs on the engulfs is the most leading indicator price action leading indicator that we have with us and based on that i am going to plan my trade so today all my trades will be based on the engulf and the target will be based on the higher time frame opposite source of engulf so everyone clear with that are you having the clarity with the engulf do you have the confidence on engulf are you able to spot engulfs very easily there are two elements of the engulf basically source of engulf and the origin of the engulf so which one to rely on which one to rely on that is decided based on uh, how long i want to hold on to the trade if i want to be in that trade very quickly i'll be taking my trade in the source of engulf if the source of engulf and origin of the engulf are not the same like in this case see even the source of engulf was this one the above one this was the this was the source of engulf and this was the origin of the engulf so if they are not the same then and and at the same time if i want to be in the trade very quickly i may take an entry in the source of engulf but my target will be reasonable 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1 i am looking for big big targets right so therefore i'll have to rely on the origin of the engulf and based on higher time frame if the origin of the engulf is very close to the distal line of the higher time frame i'll put my stop loss above that because i want to be in this trade for a longer period it should not happen that after giving me some move in my favor it stops me out in this case it is supported by higher time frame source of engulf and also taking entry by price action exactly heman ji therefore my my working probability of the zone increases dramatically origin of the engulf is not as risky as the source of engulf pradeep ji source of engulf uh, is uh, riskier because it is below the origin of the engulf origin of the engulf is the best place to take the trade and especially if they are overlapping with each other then no trade like that that's the best trade 
So everyone clear with this example? I have I have found many many examples associated with each and every candlestick pattern. So 13 examples in total I'll be discussing in detail today. So if the session extends, then also pardon me for that, but I want to deliver the best thing today. I want to give you that understanding as to how to go about trading using these patterns. So please be quick in your replies so that the pace of the session can be managed. And at any point, if you feel that you're not very much clear, just stop me there. That clarity you need to have. So if there is source of engulf, then we should take entry by price action as conservative trader. Price action, uh, you're already following, right? This is the demand that got engulfed in this candle. And this is the source of engulf. And after this engulf only, this was decided that this is the origin of the engulf. So private action confirmation you are already taking there. So Hamesha conservative trader ko uh, engulf to dekhna hi chahiye. Engulf to dekhna hi chahiye. Because in this case, there is a level over level. Yes. So level over level hai. Bot close hai dono. और हायर टाइम फ्रेम का डिजिटल लाइन भी आया है तो बेस्ट यही रहेगा कि मैं एंट्री लूस ओरिजिनल दी एंगल्स में और मेरा स्टॉप लॉस रखूं हायर टाइम फ्रेम के डिजिटल लाइन के ऊपर इट इज बेस्ट इट इज वाइज टू टेक एन एंट्री इन द ओरिजिनल दी एंगल्स एंड कीप माय स्टॉप लॉस अबव द डिजिटल लाइन ऑफ द हायर टाइम फ्रेम जोन व्हिच इज आल्सो द सोर्स ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ अनदर जोन ऑन द 60 मिनट चार्ट दिस वाज द 60 मिनट डिमांड जोन व्हिच गॉट एंगल्फ ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑफ इट all right so this is how i go about my trading and the target friends will be decided based on the higher time frame higher time frame uh, intermediate time frame or at least the time frame where you looking at the candlestick pattern are we going to take entry on retest obviously pradeep ji obviously <clears throat> we are retest traders see this was the source of engulf and this was the origin of the engulf so we are going to patiently wait for price to again come back to 28080 and look at what happened look at what happened price came to it price came to it here can you see this came very impulsively and then crashed gave the target so we are retest traders only we are going to look for retest of our our uh, source of angle for the origin of the angles only then we are supposed to take a trade all right so everyone clear with this example uh, which part of the chart is not visible okay now it is hope it is now very much clear i had zoomed in for you so that you were able to understand where is the source of engulf and where is the engulf happening okay so <clears throat> moving on moving on to the next candlestick pattern next candlestick pattern is the shooting star so shooting star it appears like this it is a bearish single candle reversal pattern bearish single candle reversal pattern market caps up to the shooting star candle and then it may gap down but this is the ideal case it it is not necessary that always the gap up and gap down is there okay friends are you are you clear with that and color can be either red or green it doesn't matter but if the color is red then that is more bearish than when the color is green only thing only thing that matters is that the upper shadow upper shadow should be at least two times the size of the real body okay it should be at least two times the size of the real body and there shouldn't be any significant lower shadow lower shadow should not be there significantly it should not be there now this is the ideal case where i have taken an example where there is no lower shadow but you may come across some examples where there is some lower shadow but that lower shadow should be insignificant very tiny one and this indicates that there was significant selling at the top this happened after a rally in price with a with a big upper shadow comparatively tiny real body so that indicates that there was selling pressure here bears dominated this in this session right 
So the setup should be that it, be, it should be coming in an uptrend. Now, can you see this in the example? Uh, there is some lower shadow there. Can you see this? Some lower shadow is visible there, but it is very tiny one. I can just simply ignore that. The confirmation comes when the price starts trading below the body of the shooting star candle. As soon as price starts trading below that, the confirmation is there. The shooting star top is in place in the market. But that confirmation, we are not going to rely on that confirmation, especially in candles where the engulf is there on the low time frame. Our leading indicator or the price action that we are going to heavily rely on is going to be engulf. Now you tell me that if price is moving up, if price is moving up, as you remember the blending of candle session. So if price is moving up, this is a rally. Okay. And then let's say this is a daily chart. I'm looking at now 60 minute chart. So price is moving up, uh, let's say 240 minute for that matter, because there are two 240 minute candles in a day. And then price comes down like this, uh, probably like this. So if I blend these two candles, so the high is this, the open is this, close is this, this is green, this is red. So what kind of candle I'll be having? Isn't this shooting star? So green candle and a red candle, red candle completely covering the green candle. So if I go on to the further lower time frame, let's say five minutes now, is there a chance that I may find some engulf there? like this on the lower time frame towards the top. There is, right? There is. And that is where I'll be taking my trade. That is where I'll be taking my trade. Now, I don't care in this case, like if this is the case of shooting star. I don't care if the price starts trading below the real body of the shooting star or not. That is the conventional way of taking the trade. How conventional traders do is as soon as price starts trading below that, they jump into the trade, keeping the stop loss above the shooting stars high. And then uh, based on the support, they target. That is not how we trade. We are retest traders. We want small stop loss, big RR, right? So let's get into it, how, how it works. So this was a shooting star. It formed after a substantial rally in price. And as soon as price started trading below that, there was a big fall in price, right? And this was able to this was able to hold the price down for at least five trading sessions. One, two, three, four, five. For five trading sessions, price was unable to close above the high of this shooting star candle. Isn't that what I just said? That it is going the validity of that candlestick pattern is going to be one time frame higher. Right. So let's check more shooting stars on the live charts. One such example is uh, Nifty only. Nifty weekly chart. Can you see this? This candle. Tell me, is it a shooting star candle or not? Very tiny, lower shadow, significant upper shadow. Upper shadow is at least twice the size of the real body. And where it is forming? After substantial rally in price near a key level or a distribution level on the left. Right? Major rally has happened. So this was confirmed on 9th of September. 9th of September. Now, I think we have covered uh, caps with you, caps, right? So onto the lower time frame, just after 9th of September, what do I have? 9th of September, 9th of September is here in this bearish candle. So this is an authentic demand zone. This is the supply that that is engulfed. Can't I take a short trade like this, keeping a stop loss above that and targeting the opposite source of angles? This is the opposite source of angles. So I found out my candlestick pattern on weekly, went on to the lower time frame, 
watched for the engulf took a trade there this was a cap basically a key level that we have already studied about so i took my trade like that very aggressively then i targeted the opposite source of engulf this was a demand zone causing the supply engulf and look at it it worked precisely like that there was almost 70% retracement from that so opposite source of engulf so i'm i'm taking i'm taking my profit out at very precise level isn't it market gave a big retracement after that now it that is secondary that it never retraced back it continued its fall but at least i am booking my profit there and i'm waiting for some more bearish action to take further short trades but this was my initial trade everyone clear with this example see how i approached was how i approached was okay uh, are you clear that there was substantial uptrend uh, substantial rally happening prior to that yes i'll come to that pradeep ji i'll come to that uh, let me just start from the beginning are you clear with the substantial up move was already there and it formed near near a uh, resistance area or potential distribution area on the left right and this is the shooting star candle you have you have no doubt about it right so this was weekly this was happening on weekly chart i went on to the daily chart so daily chart is where daily chart is where on 9th of september my weekly candle closed as soon as my weekly candle closed i have the confirmation that yes the price is is uh, creating the top and it wants to go down so i wait patiently for an engulf so after 9th september price simply gapped down and it engulfed this authentic demand now a rally based drop engulfing the opposite authentic demand is a cap for me right it is a cap right so this much is clear the entry and stop loss part is clear i'll come to the target part now so i planned my aggressive entry like that it is the origin of the engulf and as well as the source of engulf and therefore my cap because it is engulfing the authentic demand zone this demand zone is not uh, forming as a reaction to any other zone right now just below that just below that i look for a demand zone i look for i look left and down i look for a demand zone which is actually responsible for some some engulfs so just below that i have found this demand zone so this demand zone i now i check first i find the demand zone now then i check whether it engulfed anything or not so it did it did engulf this it the supply zone was engulfed by it drop base rally engulfed the drop base drop therefore my target was as such right we have to always check in left of the chart obviously the main thing lies on the left of it the more left you go the more information you get always look at your look at your chart in a zoomed out manner only then you'll be able to understand like what is happening there if you look at it in a very zoomed in manner then you'll be just limited to this portion let's say you are looking at it like this you will not be able to understand what is happening on uh, in, the, in the left and therefore you will not be able to keep your target properly booking out pr proper level is also very very important friends it is very very important so everyone clear with this example i have similar example for you similar example for you in axis bank so if you are clear i'll just move on to the axis bank chart so similar to that similar to that i have let me just hide everything can you see this exactly at the same time there was a strong rally in axis bank and this candlestick pattern emerged near this resistance area or a potential distribution area very deep inside that can you see this twice the size of the upper shadow with respect to the real body 
and no lower shadow no lower shadow at all now color of this candle is irrelevant for me the prevailing trend and where it is forming the location of it is more important for me so what i do what i do is i this was again happening on the weekly chart right so i go on to the 1 minute one one time frame lower than that daily so daily i have can you see this daily i have like this that weekly candlestick pattern was confirmed on 9th of september again at the same time when the weekly conf, uh, the nifty confirmed the that candlestick pattern okay so 9th september is when that was confirmed i got a gap down that, there but can you see that is there any cap forming here there isn't any cap right now how do i quantify this zone this drop base drop it is not engulfing anything it is not engulfing anything i cannot simply take a trade like that without without giving it some uh, importance and that importance will only be coming once that is engulfing any zone on the left of it so is this drop base drop at that time like here on 12th of september engulfing anything on the daily chart no right it is not so i have no choice other than to go on to the lower time frame support is also not getting engulfed see the nearest support is here this is basically the sr flip so support is also not getting engulfed now when i look for supply zones i need support engulfed not the resistance engulfed support engulfed should be there to take a short trade not the resistance engulfed the resistance engulfed is where i am going to look for long trades so the support is very uh, below that way below that and friends understand that as soon as the candlestick patterns they are there in in the on the price chart you should be in the trade in maximum 3 to 4 trading sessions only then you'll be able to capture the momentary trend there so try to be little aggressive but use the help of the engulf on arrival or engulf on on any of the time frame any of the lower time frames so i have no choice other than to go on to the 60 minute chart i'll straight away go on to the 60 minute chart now can you see this that this this pattern was confirmed on 9th of september right immediately the following day the following day at the opening hour it engulfed the opposite zone this drop base rally which i have marked here 598 to 594 got engulfed in this candle can you see this uh this is not an authentic demand zone authentic see, demand zone is this one so the authentic demand zone also got engulfed ultimately after that so a zone engulfing an authentic zone a zone engulfing an authentic zone so the source of engulf is very very important for me here friends now look at this this is the source of engulf that i have marked 611 to 614 and the origin of this down move is here this is the origin of the engulf way above way way above that right so what my what should be my next step is i'll plan my entry and stop loss here looking at this authentic engulf i want to be in this trade as soon as possible yes this is also the bearish flag limit with a tiny this is a tiny uh, support which got engulfed right so that makes this zone a high probability one especially looking at the follow through of that to cap down now what i'll do is i'll wait for it to give me entry and in the process of doing that price touch this zone so this is a demand zone for me price already touched it and coming up so i'll look for zone left and down from here now okay to place my target this will be my target because this zone is engulfing this rally based drop opposite source of engulf friends opposite source of engulf so i'll place my target at this level this demand zone 
right so look at it it gave me entry it came down now there was again an opposite source of angle forming here so that so that gave another bounce and ultimately what happened look at this 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six trading sessions my target was 13 is to 1 close to that no not uh, in 3 days not in 3 days it gave me first entry here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 in this candle i got my target but look at the rr that i i made there 13 is to 1 it is nothing other than the engulf this source of engulf engulfing the opposite uh, authentic engulf price touching this zone coming back to the source of engulf next fresh opposite source of engulf is here and that is why you can see that in line with that price is taking some pause price is not able to go down very easily now the the corrective move is happening on the low time frame here i am already out of the trade in the impulsive move isn't it amazing friends isn't it amazing just six trading sessions you got 13 is to 1 just imagine the money that you you stand to make if you had taken this trade in futures you'll anyway will have to take this trade in futures because you're a uh, you're in this uh, short trade so any doubt with this this is just shooting star working here now i i assigned more weightage to this source of engulf because first of all it is very far off from this origin of the engulf and secondly it is also the bearish engulf and it is also the source of engulf of this authentic demand zone right and it is all this is happening near a distribution area on the weekly chart on approach you had 60 minute opposite engulf why did you not keep that as target now you need to understand this uh, i think that that is not been covered yet <clears throat> there is something called as the advanced trend or the circuit so this complete move from this side is one swing right from this low to this high is one swing so i am going to give importance to only the opposite source of engulf on this swing not on this swing because the downtrend has already started here in this swing this was the upswing this was the downswing okay so you'll get more clarity on this when we deal with the circuit session that is the trend advance session so here here in this downswing i am not going to give any importance to the opposite source of angle because they are just corrective moves they are just corrective moves they, now there is a chance that my zone may be faked out but at least if i am doing my proper risk management i am booking part profits in between at 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1 i'll not stand to lose anything in that trade right i'll not stand to lose anything now this is something which is part of advanced uh, price action which we'll be studying in the upcoming days so <clears throat> that is why i did not give any importance to that but downtrend was not established as daily engulf was not there see uh, uh you remember the trend session in the trend did we discuss anything about the down uh, trend happening because of the authentic engulf or the engulf as such we discussed about the higher high higher low and the trend line and trend line getting violated is in the trend line being violated here the steep trend line the recent one if i mark it isn't it violated here just at the uh, 12th september candle now any opportunity any retracement above that should be utilized to take a shot so uh, <clears throat> based on that based on that i am planning this trade and i am giving importance only to the zones on this upswing on the left of it because this was the uptrend and this is the downtrend now because of this shooting star happening at the top okay everyone clear with this example everyone clear with this example all right 
<clears throat> so the next candlestick pattern is the hanging man it is just opposite of shooting star pattern but the location of it is the same it is a bearish single candle reversal pattern it is a bearish pattern friends market gaps up to the hanging man and then gaps down now that is the ideal case may not happen always color can be red or green red is more bearish than green because it is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern lower shadow should be at least twice the size of the real body and there shouldn't be any significant upper shadow everyone clear with this the structure now you tell me friends since it is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern what kind of setup it should be having what kind of setup should it be having the prevailing trend what kind of trend should be prevailing there up down or sideways up right up trend should be there now can you see this in this chart it happened after a substantial rally in price the confirmation the price trades below the body of the hanging man candlestick pattern now friends <clears throat> just understand this now i said initially that every bearish reversal candlestick pattern is going to have a demand engulf on the low time frame similarly every bullish candlestick pattern is going to have a supply engulf on the lower time frame but if i look at this candlestick in itself then the lower shadow indicates what it indicates some buying pressure right i am looking at that candle in isolation right so i need additional confirmation that uh, that even the engulf on arrival is happening there on my execution time frame so i need additional confirmation and that is why i am going to take use of this conventional confirmation that is the price needs to trade below the body of the hanging man candle all right so are you clear with this like why i am looking for additional confirmation here are you understanding that are you able to visualize it price may go up come down and then again go up and then close somewhere here right open here close here giving me a red candle but with a strong low wick indicating buying so recently has there been any sup, uh, supply engulfing demand in this case no right i need supply engulfing demand to confirm that yes the market wants to go down right so i need additional confirmation here if i get any zone there on the low time frame inside this candle then i look for engulf on arrival kind of trade okay so let's open one example from our market like this was the sensex chart now this happened on, on 9th of september 2014 let's check sensex what happened with sensex 9th september 2014 here now can you see this friends <clears throat> after a significant rally in price i have this hanging man pattern okay this hanging man pattern is appearing here all right now the ideal case was at that that it should gap up and then there should be a gap down but that is not happening here and there is some tiny portion of the upper shadow but the lower shadow is at least twice the size of the real body now i need additional confirmation here so i'll wait for price to close below the low of this candle and therefore i have this rally base drop okay so i have this rally base drop now i can plan my entry like this i can plan my entry like this totally up to me okay so let's say i plan my entry like this i why i'm planning it like that because this red candle upper shadow also indicates selling right so i am planning my trade like that and what i am targeting here is this level because this is 
basically a bullish flag limit right that is my target little bit above that so touch market gave me entry here 1 2 3 4 four trading sessions target done this is how i am supposed to take a trade there now this happened in 2014 so therefore i was not able to go down onto the lower time frame but definitely if you want increased rr only thing that you'll be doing is you'll be modifying your entry and your stop loss level the target will remain the same based on the higher time frame chart so there must be there must be some engulf on arrival here some engulf on arrival supported by a zone on the left of this there must be a drop base drop engulf on arrival happening here on the lower time frame preferably 5 minute i'll be preferring there and then i'll my i'll target this as my profit booking area so just imagine that i'm already getting 4 is to 1 here close to 4 is to 1 or probably if i mark this i take it take it like this close to 2.7 is to 1 then definitely at least on the lower time frame there is a very high chance that i may get 10 is to 1 close am i wrong in saying that i just showed you on axis bank how i approach my charts i was not having this data because this is 2014 but are you able to visualize it and why i waited for some additional confirmation that is the engulf on arrival on my execution time frame so here the understanding of blending of candles the reverse picture of that <clears throat> see this is one of the rare patterns so i was not able to find that that hanging man but when you do the homework friends when you do the homework you'll come across it it is one of the rarest pattern so <clears throat> when you do the homework you you'll come across it and then we'll discuss about it okay then uh, uh, i'll be more than happy to discuss about it or you yourself try to find out like what is happening on the lower time frame but at least to give you this understanding yes you, you may find more on the lower time frame but what i said don't go below 60 minute and 60 minute only for intraday trading if your bias is positional or uh, short term investment kinds then don't go below daily and they have highest probability on the higher time frame so daily weekly monthly and above should be where i i should be looking at these patterns i am not going below the daily chart to look at these patterns like personally i prefer positional kind of trading so i don't go below the daily chart to observe such patterns and i always use them for my scanning right so everyone clear with this example everyone clear with this example okay so moving on to the slides next one is the hammer now friends hammer is most uh, bullish pattern available there and at majority of the places you will get a hammer if the price wants to reverse the downtrend and continue its uptrend okay it is majorly found after a steep fall in price okay it is a bullish reversal pattern it is a single candle reversal pattern market ideally gaps down and then gaps up but that is the ideal case color can be red or green doesn't matter lower shadow should be at least twice the size of the real body with no significant upper shadow okay so this is the the prevailing trend should be down because it is a bullish reversal pattern and this is how it looks like this is how it looks like so the confirmation uh, comes when the price trades above the hammer's candle's real body now friends you tell me like price is already falling and you get this kind of a cat candlestick pattern on the low time frame is there a high chance that i may find an engulf on the low time frame buying pressure is there engulf of a supply zone price coming down going like this going up is there a probability of that highest probability so therefore i don't need this confirmation this confirmation is not required i am not a conventional trader and if at all if at all if at all friends <clears throat> if 
I don't have the uh, luxury to have that intraday data. Like I did not have that intraday data in Sensex. I can simply plan my trade here if I have a zone. Now, if you ignore the color of this candle, just understand price closed here and then simply opened gap up and it failed to close below this low. So basically, this is a drop base rally for me, friends. Drop base rally for me. I can simply plan my entry on this time frame itself if I'm not having that intraday data or or if I am a person who can devote some screen time, I can look for engulf on arrival. Hanging man, see Praveen, understand hanging man and uh, hammer structurally it, it is same. But where it is forming, one is bullish reversal, one is bearish reversal. It is very much important. Hammer is forming after a steep downtrend and hanging man is forming after a steep uptrend. Hammer is more, uh, more common. Hanging man is not that common. Hanging man requires additional confirmation. Hammer requires no confirmation as such. Just if you want to increase your RR, you look for confirmation on the lower time frame. That's it. <clears throat> you just go to the recording of this session. You'll get more clarity to it. You make notes then. Okay. You make notes like what is the prevailing trend? What is the location of that candlestick pattern? Location is must friends in isolation. Any candlestick pattern is not going to work. It is not at all going to work. It is going to give you stop lock trades. It is not because wick is long. Yes, the wick is long on the downside and therefore it indicates buying pressure. It indicates buying pressure. So on the low time frame, this kind of price action may happen there. I can simply plan my entry in this source of engulf and look for big, big targets. Okay. So I have one such example with me. That is the Arcom. Can you see this? I'll open the Arcom chart for you. Okay, I'll open the BSC one. So can you see this? That after a significant downtrend like this, this from here, from this place, price was falling, 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 falling. After that, I have this pattern emerging here. Now, if you're clear with the downtrend, I'll zoom in it in for you so that you'll be able to see what kind of pattern was there. Are you clear with the prevailing downtrend or any doubt about it? Okay. So I'll zoom in. Can you see this pattern, this candlestick 24th June, 2016? Can you look at it? Now, now <clears throat> this is a drop base, 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 base and a rally engulfing this zone. So hammer forming after a steep fall in price and also giving me an engulf. I can simply plan my entry like this. Keep my stop loss few ticks below the distal line and target should be the opposite engulf. The opposite engulf happened here. I look left and up, find out the first fresh supply zone and then quantify it looking at the engulf. So it engulfs this, right? So my target will be that. Now, again, I'm not be, I'll not be having intraday data for that. So therefore, I am just giving you this understanding on the higher time frame. So can you see this? It gave me touch entry. It rallied. Okay, it rallied till that area not uh, uh, ultimately it stopped me out after that but it rallied and it re reacted from this swap basically so i should be booking major portion of my holding at this swap now if i had taken this on the lower time frame then i would be relying on 60 minute zone okay 60 minute zone okay look at this it touched it and then it fell like anything now, why this happened? Why this happened? The answer to that lies on the left of it. Now, what did I say? The location of it is very important. 
So in location, what else you are going to look at? I said that at my first slide when I was discussing Dodgy. Let's see how many of you are paying attention. In location, what is important for such patterns? What kind of location they should be appearing in? This is a bullish candlestick pattern. So what kind of location it should be appearing in? Yes, the trend should be down for a bullish reversal and for a bearish reversal, it should be up. But where exactly? Where? Where on the price chart? Anywhere? The downtrend is continuing. Anywhere I get this pattern, I can take a trade. Exactly, Yusuf. Exactly. Accumulation. So towards the left of it, if I mark a horizontal line, am I getting any data? Friends, that is because this was the all-time low. All-time low was there and therefore the up move did not last long. The up move did not last long. Ultimately, that zone got stopped out. But at least it's achieved its target, right? Now you may be thinking it is just 1.6 on this time frame. But if you go on to the low time frame, friends, had you been there on this trade, like I personally took this trade and I booked my full profit here, I had executed this trade on the 60 minute chart. Now I'm not having that data here currently, but that was 7 is to 1 trade, friends. 7 is to 1. So that is the possibility with such patterns friends what i'm doing i'm doing nothing just looking at the engulf and the candlestick pattern and its location that's it so are you all clear with this are you all clear with this okay now <clears throat> coming on to the next slide next pattern that is the inverted hammer this is just similar to the structure of the shooting star but again shooting star was a bearish reversal this is a bullish reversal right this is a bullish reversal so it is a bullish single candlestick pattern reversal pattern as such market ideally caps down and then caps up to this inverted hammer candle. Color can be red or green all the time. Color of the patterns is irrelevant when it is a single candlestick pattern. Usually the upper shadow is at least twice the size of the real body with no significant lower shadow. Now in case of hanging man, what I said, hanging man price was going up. Price was going up, forming that drop and then again moving up in indicating that most recently there was buying pressure just similar to that i have price coming down okay and then in this case it is going up and then again further up and then closing here above the open so in this case can i conclusively say that I may have a supply engulf on the low time frame because recently there was again a selling pressure indicating the selling pressure on the low time frame. So most recently, can I say that there was a supply engulf on the lower time frame? Can I say that friends? Uh, Anshul, see, uh, you are in doubt, right? You are in doubt. It's totally fine. But whenever you are in doubt, go with engulf on arrival. Why don't you go with engulf on arrival? Right? Why don't you look at the engulf? It may or may not be there, but it is always wise to look for it, right? Yes, the recent recent move was again a selling pressure. So most recently what price may have done is it had fallen quite a bit. Then it opened here. Okay. Moved up. Okay. Moved up quite a bit and then again closed here. So open here, close here, giving me a green candle as such, but with 
significant apophic so this is not as bullish as the hammer as the hammer itself hammer is most bullish friends most bullish similarly shooting star is most bearish shooting star is most bearish among all candlestick patterns all right so on the low time frame i should be looking for some angles so here it should be happening in a downtrend i want reversal so it should be coming after a significant downtrend now in this case there is some tiny uh, lower shadow okay because this is not the ideal case so the continuation the confirmation comes when the price starts trading above the body of the inverted hammer candle so what i can do is just in case of hanging man pattern i waited for the next day's close okay i waited for the next day's close so similarly here i'll do the same thing now this is a chart of bank india now there was prevailing downtrend now this is this friends is a monthly chart okay monthly chart price falling down and then towards the end of that fall i have this pattern emerging the inverted hammer pattern okay and price closed above that this was basically an accumulation area confirmed after this candle's close yes it is not the bottom most but very close to that right the ideal case is just at the bottom but this is very close to it very very close to it yes the doji is there this is the doji right but anyway any which way whether i'm looking at doji whether i'm looking at inverted hammer or whether i'm looking at some other pattern or let's say hammer i'm not doing nothing but relying on the angles right so when it comes to the taking trade part when it comes to the taking trade part it is nothing but the angles that i'm relying on again in accumulation is very much important yes the location of such patterns are very very important friends the location are very very important see the reversal is going to come only from an accumulation or a distribution if we add four candles it will become a doji let's check like this is january february march april may june so june you you want me to add these candles so basically i'll be adding okay i'll start adding from this so here is the close here is the open so open here close here high here right so it make gives me a green candle like this okay but this is this is this i'm taking that into consideration after after june candle close right so i'll have to include these two candles as well so this is going to be like this so you cannot blend any candles you wish you cannot blend just any candle you wish it has to be done with the proper time frame and we'll check this okay we'll check this because i have the same example for uh, for this when uh, the, the trade should be taken but understand that this is on monthly so imagine that the reversal is going to be huge this emerged around 63 level and look at the price 120 double almost double so anshul uh, what uh, what you are not agreeing to if i am blending the candles if i am blending three candles they have to be january february march or april may june like that if i am blending six candles it has to be from july to december or january to june it cannot be any candles in between i cannot take it like that okay okay all right so let's check bank india only now <clears throat> again i'll hide everything for you <clears throat> now 
now can you see this that price has fallen quite a bit quite a bit it had fallen now this had formed an accumulation area here can i say that this is an accumulation area uh which tab are you talking about okay uh i did uh, i right clicked on my chart tools the last option of that hide or unhide tools so i get this tab okay so after a substantial fall in price i have this accumulation price is rallying up now now what is happening is price is again started it's again started to fall right uh, maybe because of some other reason on the left it doesn't concern me because price is coming into my accumulation area and now i should be looking for reversal structures so can you see this friends after a strong drop in price i have this inverted hammer friends inverted hammer this 28th of december 2016 candle and what i should be doing now can i simply go on to the lower time frame and try to look for engulf or i can simply take a trade when the price closes above the high of that what should be my approach <clears throat> lower time frame right exactly so i'll straight away go on to the 60 minute chart okay i have this pattern confirmed on 28th of december from 28th of december onwards i'm going to look at my engulf 60 minute chart so 60 minute chart 60 minute chart price is moving up 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 recently like this was 28th of december now i what i want is what i want is this since this is an inverted hammer just similar to the case of hanging man i need a close above that at least on the low time frame price should start trading above it so therefore most recently this was a rally based drop which got engulfed by this rally based rally therefore giving me the source of engulf all right it is going to give me the source of engulf now this zone is comparatively a bit wide looking at the datr i may not be able to get out of this trade with very good profit amount in uh, five trading sessions okay so therefore it is totally up to me now friends I, whether i take my entry like this or not totally up to me but i want to take an entry further refine further refine entry i want to take so what i do is what i do is and now my target will be decided here only i am looking at the engulf here so now my target will be let's say this is the candle giving me the engulf so above that above that i start looking left and up left and up till i get a zone till i get a supply zone there so i have a fresh supply zone straight away here can you see this straight away the fresh supply zone is here this one is tested this one is already tested giving the engulf so fresh supply zone is here now i want to quantify whether it engulfed anything or not or if i should be looking at a zone above that so i put my horizontal line there horizontal line here and i look left so yes it did see this is the engulf this is the zone which got engulfed so that zone was responsible for this engulf can you see this that should be my maximum target friend that should be my maximum target so if my target is decided and if i place my entry like this wick to wick wick to wick i place my entry am i getting a decent rr here look at it just two is to one for positional two is to one i don't want two is to one i want more than that but at least my target is limited my stop loss is decided max to max what i should be doing is adjusting my entry so can i arbitrarily adjust my entry anywhere i wish can i do that just anywhere anywhere i wish to increase my rr
I should be going on to the lower time frame now. Everything has a logic. Everything has a logic, but at least my target is decided now. And the bias is on the upside. So I go on to the 15 minute chart. And the higher time frame angles happened on 60 minute. Okay, 60 minute angles happened. So what I do is I wait for the higher time frame engulf to get tested and on the lower time frame on arrival there should be an engulf. Can you see this? Price confirmed the engulf on the lower time frame at 10.15. After that I should be closely monitoring the price action on the lower time frame. So you tell me till this point, till this price action on this upside that around 2 o'clock on 2nd January, was I having any supply engulf? Was I having any supply zone engulf before that? No, right? I just need to wait patiently for price to come down to the uh, <clears throat> to, to my source of engulf on the higher time frame. And on the lower time frame, I'm looking at the engulf on arrival price action entry. I have this rally, 4-5 base candles and a rally good follow through. My entry there, stop loss below that and target based on the higher time frame. So look at the ARA that I stand to make. Close to 5 to 1. I'm satisfied. For 5 to 1 by on positional basis, I'm satisfied. I'm getting it with proper logic, not just arbitrarily anything I'm not doing. So are you clear with this? So how I arrived at that? I looked at the inverted hammer. I looked at the daily zone. So daily, this is inverted hammer. So I need additional confirmation. I waited for price to close above that at least uh, or probably trade above that, the high of that candle. Yes, with patience and a lot of practice. Yes, definitely. But it is possible, friends. Look at this. I'm I'm not showing you trades which are happening without any reason. I'm giving you proper logic. I'm associating proper reason with each and every price move. I'm not giving you something which has already happened. And then saying in the hindsight, it is very easy to say something in hindsight, especially in technical analysis. But I'm giving you proper logic, right? Step by step, what you should be doing, what you should be looking for. It engulfed this supply. Can you see this? Drop base drop. And the engulfing source of engulf was this zone. So therefore my entry was decided like that. Now this zone is not so good enough that I take a big to big entry even like even if I take a week to week entry, just 10 pesa is there, but why to take even 10 pesa? Why to give it out of your pocket? Be conservative, no? bargain with the market. Okay. So, like that, I am keeping my trade. So, if everyone is clear with this example, I'll move on to the next example. And today, friends, I'm not going to give you any break because I have still. Uh, close to eight, nine patterns to cover in a similar manner, discussing more on the charts. Can we buy a few? Uh, what do you mean by that, uh, Yusuf? A little more when it goes deep. See, when it comes to trading, okay, there are two kind of traders, uh, the trader simply and an investor. If I'm wearing the trader's hat, I Never, never buy in tranches. Never, ever. I want pinpoint precise entries. Why I want to uh, <clears throat> disturb my RR? Why should I be disturbing my RR? I have clear zone here, right? I have clear zone here. Why should I be waiting for price to go down and again then entering the trade? As soon as price action is supporting that, my entry stop loss target are in place. That's it. I'm not going to judge this trade now, as soon as my zone is there. Trans not even for positional trading, Pardeep Ji. It should only be there for investment. Okay? 
investment only you should be buying in tranches or selling in tranches not for trading i never do that and i'll also advise for you not to do that don't disturb your rr okay don't disturb your rr it is fine if you are getting stopped out here you look for another opportunity right you look for another opportunity again the stop loss there may be in this case it is 65 paisa there may be 40 paisa stop loss you increase your position size and therefore you get good rr there the rr in that case may be 8 is to 1 you're going to make lot of money there right losing 60 paisa here 60 to 70 paisa close to including the cost of doing this 80 paisa let's say 40 paisa next time you are getting you are making at least 8 is to 1 so 3.2 rupees you are making there 80 paisa you are losing there so net net you are making 2.4 rupees so all in all you are making on on your on your uh, risk per trade you are making close to 4 is to 1 there right so still you are making money even if you are getting stopped out once why lose confidence and why uh, be in a fear of getting another stopped out trade look for another opportunity in the same script if your if your price action is supporting that you don't need to scan for so many stocks okay and never never ever buy in tranches for trading never ever do that so i'll move on to the next pattern <clears throat> and uh, this was monthly right so i forgot to share the monthly with you so monthly this was the monthly that that pattern was this this was the monthly price never revisited that area see price never revisited that area from 60 to up side it went around the close to 589 but it took lot of time right 2004 to 2010 6 years 6 years but if you are holding on to that trade with conviction like basically an investment kind of a trade <clears throat> then nothing like it right everything that you are making there is tax free you are you are having 10 times close to 10 times your initial investment in matter of 6 years and completely tax free isn't that great isn't that great friends so if i check this this is monthly let's check quarterly what is happening there so quarterly i have this so max to max like on quarterly if i do it then this becomes my zone week to week basically like this it is giving me entry there why is it tax free because you so if anything that you are holding for over one p one year and you are not declaring trading capital trading profit as your business income then it will be taxed at long term capital gain uh, slab and long term capital gain in equity market is zero long term capital gain tax is zero but you need to show that you are not uh, you are not using trading as your business if you are using trading as your business then recently there was in the last budget there was a clear distinction between trading as a business and just trading or investing for that matter so yeah if you are employed somewhere else or if you have some other uh, job then you don't show trading as your business and especially if you are a in your fair an investor okay take bull full benefit of that uh, <clears throat> yes you need to be uh, employed or you need to have something of your own only then you you can uh, avoid showing trading as your business income and it is totally up to even if you have another business you can still show this as your business income okay totally up to you if you are trading uh, volume is that much okay then uh, checking the half yearly like half yearly how it looks like so we are not anyway getting a dodgy there okay no dodgy is there anshul are you clear all right <clears throat> so moving on to the next bullish engulfing okay this is one of the favorite pattern friends <clears throat> this is one of my favorite pattern bullish engulfing and bearish engulfs so bullish engulfing is a two candle reversal pattern 
as depicted in this picture first candle is a small red candle small red candle uh with with a red real body and the second is a longer green candle which completely engulfs the first candle's body body should be completely engulfed engulf means enclosing that okay so it should it if it is da, it is a bullish uh, reversal pattern it should be happening in a downtrend do you agree and close to a support conventional support or in an accumulation area everyone agrees to that all right so look at this now major reversals see major reversals happen like this now if i blend these two candles together if i blend these two candles together like open here and the next candle close here so open close no significant upper shadow and significant lower shadow what is this friends this is what kind of pattern we just studied about it a hammer perfect perfect friends perfect so a hammer is where the major reversals happen just opposite of that we'll be studying the bearish angle and that will be shooting star so shooting star and hammer they are big big reversal and very common price action structures but the application of the trading part remains the same friends now this in itself is a very strong pattern so we don't require the conventional confirmation here like this here jet airways it was a quarterly chart and yes friends uh, one more thing <coughs> ideal case ideal case is where you have the first candle with a small body second candle with a big green body completely engulfing the previous candle and the volume should also be big compared to the previous candle this is just ideal case friends it may not happen all the time okay it may not happen all the time now it happened it was created near 300 and currently the jet airways is around 470 or 480 level right and price never breached this low price never breached this low so i have uh, another example for you i have another example for you wherein i'll be showing you how to take the trade are you clear with this structurally open of green candle is higher yes see ideal case is where you have the open below the red candle okay open here close here next day open below the close also it there is a possibility of that and then it should completely engulf the body of the red candle all right so any more queries with respect to this all right <clears throat> so i have again moving on to the chart i have asian paints for you asian paint again i'll hide everything monthly chart can you see this after a drop in price now this area here on the left of it what will i call this what am i going to call this area and the prevailing trend was prevailing trend was a uh, think uh, twice before you are seeing the prevailing trend before the pattern emerged not here here when the pattern emerged pattern emerged here so what was the prevailing trend it is a bullish reversal pattern so all the time the prevailing trend should be strongly down 
three red, big, big red candles. And then the pattern emerged as a reaction to that accumulation. Okay. And can you see this? The, the close of this candle was 891. The next candle open was 893, two rupees above that. Basically, that is a pro gap. Pro gap. Uh, have we covered, have we covered gaps with you? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. So pro gap happened here. So pro gap happened here. And price should completely engulf the real body. That is, it should close above the open of the red candle. So open happened at 967 and the close here happened at 970. Can I say that this is a bullish engulf? Can I say that this is a bullish engulf? Right. Now this may not look like hammer on the higher time frame, but who cares? Who cares? After steep fall in price, I'm getting this pattern on the higher time frame and it is going to last at least for one quarter, one time frame higher. And I'll be looking for some long opportunities, right? So just after the close of this candle, I'll go on to the lower time frame straight away onto the daily chart. I want big RRs, therefore I'm going on to the daily chart straight away. So after the 31st January that I was looking at the monthly chart, so 31st January is where I have the confirmation of this pattern. And on the lower time frame, just after that, I have this rally base rally. Now why this rally base rally is important? Multiple base candles as such. But why it is important? It is important, friends, because it is engulfing this SR or the resistance. So that makes it what? That makes this area rally base rally what? Engulfing the resistance, resistance in line with the bases. So am I using something which is uh, not being taught to you or which is conventional as such? This is not just a flag, it is a bullish flag, basically, bullish flag limit. Now I have decided my area of interest. My area of interest is something which I have already decided. Okay. So now is it a quality zone as such? Is it a quality zone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine base candles. And the leg out is also not that strong. It is not having the body above uh, the, the range of the candle. I mean the range of the base completely. Not a very big, big uh, uh, reaction can be expected or, or the reaction can be expected after only deep penetration of this. At least that much I am able to understand from this time frame itself, right? It is not a quality the zone. So price may either uh, trick it a little bit or or it may go very deep inside that zone. Right. But that pattern, the bullish engulf happened on the monthly chart. So it is going to give a big, big reversal, right? It is going to hold at least for a quarter. Quarter after this, so February, March, April, it is going to last for March. That low will not be breached. At least 99% of the times it is not breached very easily. So the next thing I do is I straight away go on to the lower time frame. Now this zone is almost uh, 20, 26 <coughs> rupees wide and the DATR is 19 rupees. If I want very good RR in matter of five days, then I have to go on to the lower time frame and that is 15 minute. I would now go to on to. So here, here, like, look at this, what is happening? My area of interest was decided as 979.80. For the first time, price touched it on 14th February 2017. So for the first time, it touched it and therefore I'm going to look at my price action very closely there. Right? So can you see this? There had been an engulf. Can you see this? This area? Drop, drop, pace, drop, pace, drop, rally and a rally. So an engulf. Engulf happened and here the source of engulf and origin of the engulf, they are overlapping with each other. 
very high probability trade do i need to go on to the any any lower time frame now the zone itself is very good with a good follow through can i simply plan my entry stop loss here now yes very small stop loss yes close to 1 1 and 1/2 rupees but understand understand if you are getting such a tiny stop loss there is a very high chance that this zone may be taken out very easily so plan your target very very conservatively friends plan your target conservatively so look for arrival proper arrival to this zone so when price is arriving to that zone like it is arriving here so at the same time it is engulfing this zone right can you see this it is engulfing this zone here on arrival so max to max my target should not exceed 98170 it should not exceed that and still i i stand to make 10 is to 1 right how many candles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 15 minute candles that is how many minutes 120 minutes 2 hours my trade is done 2 hours i already got 2 hours i already got 10 is to 1 intraday what more i want why should i be waiting for this uh, to to continue to hold on further why should i be very greedy stop loss is such tiny i am already making 10 is to 1 in 2 hours right see ultimately it stopped it out but was it able to stop out that daily zone was it able to stop out that daily zone no right it did not the low was 95385 and the distal line of this zone was 95360 it was not able to stop it out it moved on further now this is a tiny tiny distribution and price is actually reacting to it it is reacting to it wick to wick and i expect it to go further up at least till this level basically a swap level this should be close to around 1100 that is my expectation but the easy money has already been made easy money is already been made now that uh, i i entered into that trade with a mindset of positional player i got my trade um, i i got my target in 2 hours i am very happy now i may not have hold i may not have held on to my position for uh, the entire target because i always do my risk management so even if i am not getting the complete 10s to 1 because of my part partial book, part profit booking in between i am still fine with it i am making money very good amount of money at least 5 to 1 i am making there that is my aim consistently with high success rate to make 5 to 1 on positional basis so isn't it amazing friends isn't it amazing very small stop loss looking at the patterns looking at the engulf nothing more than that engulf is so important friends so so important are you all clear with this trade are you all clear with this trade how i planned it where i booked my target and why i my booked my target completely there right so moving on to the next pattern uh see you'll develop that kind of uh, eyes once you go through many charts at least in initial phase of your learning you should be going through at least 20 to 30 charts every day okay without break and also make notes also make notes what kind of price action are you expecting now make notes and why it should be associated with the reason not just that i feel like that it is going up so it it may go up it should be associated with some price action only then you are going to learn only then your learning curve is going to improve and once friends you, you start having that kind of move na then that that you are expecting it to move up to a certain price level and moves up just imagine the boost in your confidence that you going to have 
just imagine that and it is friends 95% the trader psychology and just 5% technical analysis so a best technical analysis can be the worst trader also if he is not keeping his emotions in check he, if he is not in a positive frame of mind if he is lacking confidence okay so that confidence boost up will only happen once you observe make notes try to predict and reevaluate if it is not happening and correct yourself so can i expect that all of you are going to do that can i expect that all of you are going to follow such steps confidence building measures and at the same time your uh, technical analysis will improve only pradeep ji saying uh, that he is going to do it what about the rest in terms of engulf engulf of untested zone is better than a tested zone no no you should not be quantifying your zones like that it is just the authentic zone and inauthentic zone you have let's say this is a zone you have another zone like this this is authentic this is inauthentic then you have another case where it is just an authentic zone so engulf of case number 2 and engulf of case number 1 with first demand a demand a this is more powerful the engulf of that than the engulf of this because buying emerged here and this is this is this zone the demand zone a formed as a reaction to this level and fresh buying did not emerge there so if it is getting engulfed like in case of 2 then this is more powerful and the source of engulf of this zone is the best to take a trade in price travels in first case near to the zone yes but ultimately ultimately when it comes to the taking trade part my zone see i am going to attach more weightage to this level the source of engulf of the second zone then the source of engulf of this zone suppose 2 is tested once and after some time it is engulfing anyway it is a, an authentic zone if it is tested i don't care still if it is ultimately getting engulfed then still i'm going to give more weightage to this price action than this one it is just about authenticity and inauthenticity that's it whether it is tested or not i am not bothered about it but when we conducted a swap session with you friends you remember what i mentioned that if the zone is taken out impulsively with a proper location then it is going to act as swap the price is not going to retrace to the source of engulf it is going to re react from the engulfed zone itself and that is where whether it is tested or not the quantification of that comes but when it comes to the engulf trading the test happening or not is not at all relevant all right so are you clear with this anshul so if yes then i'll move on to the next example just opposite of this is the uh perish engulf can we say similar for sr uh as how <clears throat> uh anshul can we can we take this uh, query towards the end of the session because i have still seven like seven patterns to cover so with examples that is going to require i think probably another 40 minutes so can we uh, address this query towards the end okay okay so bearish angles just the opposite of that okay just the opposite of bullish angles so bearish reversal is where you have <clears throat> two candle reversal pattern first candle has a small green real body second candle has a red real body which is completely engulfing the first candle's real body so the structure should appear after a steep uptrend like this completely engulfing the body of the previous candle 
it is very strong very powerful candlestick pattern so con conventional confirmation is not required and the volume condition remains the same this was the pattern which emerged in nifty this is a novice gap up happening at all time high this was the day when there was a surprise rate cut by rbi price made a high of 9119 and price fell from that level to around 68800 all time high all time high is also somewhere where you should be looking at it is not necessary that there should be some resistance or or uh, a distribution should be there but the reversal that is going to come from that level it is going to come only when a distribution in itself forms at that level you remember the arcom arcom it did not give much bounce because it is not supported by uh, any other uh, time frames on the on, on the left of it but why it fell like that that much because first of all it formed that pattern gave some correction and then ultimately <clears throat> then ultimately a distribution emerged that at that place monthly supply zone was formed all right <clears throat> our friends can i please have a glass of water please <clears throat> give me just 1 minute i'll be back <clears throat> Uh, so we were discussing that this pattern emerged near all time high and why was there such a big reversal okay so you cannot be holding on to this short trade for quite a long period because you are not having any distribution or any resistance on the left of it okay this was happening at all time high right so <clears throat> there was some additional advance price action which emerged at that place which gave this corrective move it turned this corrective move into an impulsive downtrend okay but the candlestick patterns they are they, that is why they are said that they are conventional they are conventional candlestick patterns because they are not going to give you that complete big up down move from that level but at least you'll be able to make money there right so <clears throat> that is what i wanted to give you here so i have an example of this as well i have an example of this as well are you clear with this structurally and how this is going to look like if i merge if i blend these two candles together okay like this open and then close and that makes this candle red what is this friends what kind of candle i am having when i blend these two candles together this is not hammer pradeep ji this is not hammer hammer is something like this this is hammer this is also not hanging man and friends you don't need to remember the candlestick pattern names as such tell me whether it is bullish or bearish it is also not bearish harami we have not covered that yet it is bearish or bullish and whether it is a strongly bearish candlestick pattern or a bullish candlestick pattern just forget the name doesn't concern us shooting star bearish candlestick pattern because of significant upper wick right so it is a bearish reversal uh, candlestick pattern happening after a steep rally in price we should be looking to sell simple as that if within the next 2 3 candles only you should be getting that fill you should be a little aggressive with this little adjusting with the market condition <clears throat> all right and just try to uh, not to remember the names just understand what is happening price action is most important so i have power grid for you again uh, hiding all the tools now <clears throat> the 
the previous candle like i discussed that the previous candle should be green that is the ideal case but here near this resistance area like this was happening near all time high and recently i had this resistance area and i have these these two pattern these two candles here not an ideal case but still what kind of a ca candlestick pattern is this is it a bearish engulf is it a bearish engulf price covering the previous candles body entirely gapping up and then closing down so what kind of uh, opportunity i should be looking at <clears throat> buy or sell sell right sell now this candlestick pattern is happening on the daily chart daily on the daily chart i am observing this so if you are looking for selling opportunity max to max what kind of holding period you should be looking at one week or beyond that max to max one week or if your target is achieved before that 5 to 1 is achieved then close out your position okay so let's check what happened now this happened on the on the daily chart so i'll straight away go on to the 60 minute chart first so 60 minute here i am having <clears throat> this this drop base drop is there but at the same time happened on daily after consolidation yes but majorly what was the trend here look at this na huh? what was the trend prevailing trend now it may happen as a part of consolidation but the prevailing uptrend is there prevailing uptrend was there significant uptrend was there and friends whenever whenever such strong candlestick patterns they appear you should be taking you should be basically a little aggressive there you should be you should try to be in the trade the very next day the very next day if you try to in the trade be in the trade uh, you you are going to get the target very soon so i went on to 5 minute chart <clears throat> 5 minute chart is where i was looking at now the close of this day happened on 22nd february so <clears throat> here can you see that drop base rally got engulfed here this is the source of engulf okay this is the source of engulf look at this my entry was this and the target was based on this support area here the support the minor uh, minor support basically which was held for a longer period gave this substantial up move was my target and look at this at the opening tick i got my entry now why i kept my stop loss like this is something based on the advanced price action concept but for you i am going to keep it like this so that you are not confused okay above the origin of this down move this became my intraday trade and i got almost 3 to 1 close to that entry there in the source of engulf stop loss above the origin of the engulf and targeting the minor sr now i believe i believe till this 202.85 is not taken out price will go down to 19140 why because on the 60 minute on the 60 minute chart the opposite source of engulf if i look at it fresh opposite source of engulf is straight away down here this is the opposite source of engulf and that is why price is going to go down to that level till the point till the point that 202.85 is not taken out so this became my intraday trade and if i want to hold on to this position i may have held on to this position for quite longer period now if i would have taken my target as 19140 then look at the ara that i stand to make that is still not achieved almost 11 is to 1 friends 11 is to 1 so observe this 
observe what happens and don't jump into this trade friends don't jump into this trade just observe okay the easy money has already been made part profit is already been booked so even if it stops us out we are not going to lose anything okay so are you clear with this now as soon as the pattern emerged i went on to the lower time frame firstly i went on to the 60 minute chart 60 minute chart the zone was a little bit above that i wanted to be in the trade very uh, at the very beginning of the next trading session okay there was nothing to hold on to this price on the left of it everything was tested all these zones were tested basically nothing till this 191 40 level that is why i wanted to be in this trade and especially after a rally in price if you get a lower high on the daily chart there is a lower high okay after a rally in price you get a lower high in price near near a resistance area price is bound to fall price is bound to fall there is something more advanced which you are going to learn about so just keep this picture in mind just remember this and price is going to come down all the way down even this swap is tested as such the swap is tested can you see this uh yes heaven ji this is compression uh, yes but the application part of it you are going to learn in the upcoming sessions but just remember you revisit this chart okay revisit this chart once that session is conducted but that is why my bias is like that most recent example friends and the target is fully full target is yet to be achieved okay so this is the bearish angles going on and the volume condition let just just look at the volume look at the volume look at the volume now volume is something which we don't uh, necessarily look at it is uh, it is irrelevant basically uh just to give you that uh, understanding just for the sake of your knowledge i am giving you this volume is what the conventional traders look at i am these bothered about it all right so volume condition is also satisfied so moving on the next pattern is the piercing pattern piercing pattern the name suggests that something is piercing something right so it is a bullish two candle reversal pattern two candle reversal pattern like the structure is like this first candle has a red real body a red real body second is green candle which generally that is the ideal case opens below the red candle and it closes in the upper half of the first candle body upper half means the high high of this candle minus low of this candle half of that just the midline of that it closes above that above 50% of high minus low let's say high is 20 low is 10 so it should close above 15 if the close is happening even just one tick above 15 it is piercing pattern especially if the prevailing trend is down and it is happening near a support or near an accumulation area okay that is how i decide that the candlestick pattern is as such <clears throat> see the candle body that is the ideal case now candle body in this case is what isn't it a high minus low that is the ideal case i am saying ideal case it may not always gap down it uh, this is a novice gap basically so even pro gap may happen okay even pro gap may happen so that is why to ensure that you need to take high and low not just the body not just open minus close high minus low is what you should be taking and any which way any which way you tell me one thing if this cat this pattern is emerging 
don't you think there will be whether it closes by, uh, 50% uh, inside the bo- above the body or just above the range of the candle the pattern on the low time frame will won't it be like this supply getting engulfed and what are we more concerned about what are we more concerned about are we trading the conventional way we are not right so we want the price action supporting that so price action supports only when we have an engulf right so so we have this pattern forming after a downtrend okay forming after a downtrend and this pattern in itself is also very bullish pattern but it is not as bullish as that of the hammer or bullish engulfing it is bullish but not as bullish because the price is not able to close above the red candles high so it is not it is midway between uh, a bullish engulf and and uh, and a hammer basically so it is not that uh, bullish but it is still bullish okay so we don't require the con- conventional confirmation that the price should trade above the real body okay it should not uh, be something which we do, should be looking at so look at this this was dish tv okay after a fall in price there was a support there on the left of it and this pattern emerged <clears throat> so i have one example for you very recent one Havels. Again, I'm going to hide everything. Now, <clears throat> now, what kind of a trend is this? Down, steep down, right? And if i zoom this for you then these two candles is it closing above the 50% of the range of the red candle these two candles 22nd december and 27th december i have reversal there right but but <clears throat> am i having any zone here to take a trade on am i having any zone there no right what should be my next step low time frame straight away 60 minute right i don't follow to 40 minute or any other time frame above 60 i straight away want to jump into the 60 minute now can you see this this drop base rally it engulfs that rally base drop the pattern was confirmed on 27th of december and at the same time when the day closed they closed at the same time i had that engulf on the lower time frame on the 60 minute chart so higher time frame like daily chart pattern emerging giving me the trade 60 minute chart i have the source of engulf inside the source of engulf i have another engulf okay my target will be my target will be the next fresh zone next fresh supply zone which is engulfing the opposite zone so here the pattern confirmed okay here the pattern confirmed price had already touched it okay so the next fresh zone is on the way up so next fresh zone is this now i want to quantify that so i have this demand getting engulfed by that so that is my maximum target i cannot plan a target beyond that 35560 are you getting this friends are you getting this how i am deciding my target i am looking left and up in case of a supply zone i am trying to find out no the target is based on the 60 minute because 60 minute is where i am looking at the engulf 
I am not looking at the engulf on daily chart. So if I am relying, I am taking a trade in the 60 minute source of engulf, my target will be 60 minute opposite source of engulf. Okay, every concept cap demand has a cap supply as a target, MIP demand as a MIP supply target, source of engulf as a source of engulf target, but all of these are on the same time frame. Okay, all of these are on the same time frame. So if I'm looking at 60 minutes source of engulf, my target will be 60 minutes source of engulf, opposite one. Looking left and up, first supply zone is this, fresh supply zone, quantifying that, yes, it engulfed this demand. Whether this demand is authentic or inauthentic, I don't care. I'm booking my profit there. So I go on to the lower time frame, five minute, straight away. Now, <clears throat> look at this closely. Again, I'll hide everything currently to give you this clarity. Is this a supply zone, rally based drop? Is this a demand responsible for that engulf? Price ultimately closed above that, right? Here in this candle. Can I take a trade here? This is inside the 60 minute source of engulfs. Uh, why no, uh, Hemanji? Hemanji, why do you think you should not take it? It's a good follow through. Aaya hai. 60 minute zone ke coincide with the daily pe piercing pattern. Bana hai. This is the origin of the engulfs as well as the source of engulfs. Yahi se to price is up here. Price maximum is down here and is down here. So this is the source of engulfs and this is the origin of the engulfs. Dono ek hi hai, acha follow through hai, single base hai, move in bhi strong hai. Kyo nahi lena chahiye? Or same time ye price 60 minutes se coincide kar raha hai, but price didn't give fill on chart. To kya isle trade nahi lena chahiye? Hame to wait karna hai na? To mai abhi aapko bata raha hoon wo cheez ki kaise hum log aayenge uske upar. अभी मैंने आपको ज़ूम इन करके इसलिए बताया कि मैं आपको बताना चाहता था कि ये एंगल हुआ है इसीलिए ये ज़ोन के ऊपर वेटेज दिया जा रहा है। We are we are looking into the we are looking into this zone because this zone has engulfed this supply zone. Ah uh, okay okay. Uh, still are you uh, not getting my voice properly? All right. So if not, then please uh, try try checking your. Okay. So you go through the recording. You go through the recording once again. So this is actually coinciding with the 60 minute. 60 minute. It was coinciding with, and that is why I relied on that zone on the five minute. So five minute zone was there, and my target was decided based on 60 minute opposite source of angle, right? So price came there, touched it, look at my stop loss. Now you must be questioning me here. Now the question should be coming to your mind. If it is not coming, then I'll not answer that. <laughs> but this is the trade. Look at it. The target is based on 60 minute level and look at the RR. Like in how many days the RR was achieved. One day this gave the entry, second day it it touched the uh, engulf zone swap basically and third day it achieved its target. Very, very small stop loss. Uh, is that your question? Why the stop loss is very, very small? See, if the stop loss is very, very small. Therefore, we have, see, uh, stop loss, I am not deciding stop loss just my on my own, right? I am doing what only I have taught you. Three ticks below the distal line. The distal line is at 319.15. Three ticks below that is 319 only. Yes, Hemanji, you have seen that there is a level over level B. There is a level over level B. So, what do I do? I have to adjust my stop loss. I have to adjust my stop loss. 
और स्टिल मुझे फाइव टू वन से अच्छा जोन अच्छा ट्रेड मिल रहा है राइट तो मैं इस तरह से ट्रेड ले सकता हूं राइट आई कैन टेक अ ट्रेड लाइक दिस आई एम स्टिल गेटिंग मोर देन फाइव टू वन एंड वॉट वॉट इज दिस फ्रेंड्स दिस जोन द लोअर वन वॉट इज दिस यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस रेजिस्टेंस हाई रिट्रेसमेंट एंड देन हाई एंड गल्फ वॉट इज दिस दिस एरिया friends you are mistaken resistance getting engulf price moving up creating this high retracement then again engulf of that this is mip mip demand so you are going to do a trial and error with me right bfl oe oe like that why are you not clear with this but since it was coinciding with such a good 60 minute zone and at the same time there was a piercing pattern there is a very high chance that since this zone is also very good in structure price may not retrace to this level so i i may choose to take a trade like this how can it be a bufl is the resistance pa line passing through it the recent one this resistance got already got taken out this is the recent resistance is it passing through that it cannot be a bufl how can it be a bufl bufl is always a continuation pattern rally based rally similarly bufl is a drop based drop at the same time the recent most sr should be passing through it okay it is not so yes two base candles so that doesn't concern us whether they are two base candles or five base candles if it is engulfing something that is how we quantify it <clears throat> which uh, zone are you talking about this one is this the one that you are talking about in this case there is mip oe and a cap yes okay so you are not talking about this then uh this is the same chart 5 minute this is the source of engulf below one is the cap resistance uh resistance you are talking about uh, i am not getting you yusuf uh, what are you trying to say uh you mean to say it is passing through this resistance so this makes this uh, rally base rally powerful is that so was this rally base rally happening after my piercing pattern my piercing pattern was confirmed on 24th 27th december close so can i take a trade before that is this supported by any of the higher time frames this is this is something which you should be thinking twice about is it supported by any of the higher time frames yes it is a bufl no doubt about it no doubt about it but not every trade is uh, is some, not every level we are going to take a trade in right it should be supported by high time frame and price action so that is why we are not relying on that and the pattern was confirmed only on 27th december's close all right so everyone clear with this trade we are still able to make 8 is to 1 there keeping my stop loss like that and friends there is something more advanced which you'll be learning which you'll be learning in the upcoming sessions and therefore you'll be keeping your stop loss like this okay you'll be keeping your stop loss like this by learning something more advanced that is called as the mpl all right so that is why it was planned like this but your question should is valid that why i'm not keeping my why not i'm not giving any relevance to the low level there is a level near level case okay so your question was very much relevant and that is why i answered it <clears throat> so this covers the piercing pattern next is the dark cloud cover just opposite of the piercing pattern dark cloud cover 
just opposite of piercing pattern so it is a two candle reversal bearish pattern first candle is a green candle okay first candle is a green candle body uh green candle real body second candle is going to open above the green candle and close in the lower half of the first candle's body as such this is the ideal case of the conventional way of looking at it but how i market is i take the high and low to be safe all right so a <clears throat> uh, friend is my screen stuck is my screen stuck uh anshul i think there is okay okay great so it should be it is a bearish reversal structure so it should happen after a strong uptrend right right again this is not as bearish as just the bearish angle that i discussed and we don't require additional confirmation so we can simply take a trade based on the engulf because price is anyway most recently going down so there will be as demand zone engulf on the lower time frame this is the daba chart now friends this trade was personally taken by me uh, quite a while back in 2015 around uh, april or may april i guess so i may not be having a data there but uh, it gave me intraday it gave me 13 is to 1 on intraday basis 5 minute execution 13 is to 1 was my target okay <clears throat> but uh, i'll give you more example most recent example so that you just don't take it uh, on my word okay <clears throat> so we have maruti uh for the dark cloud cover again i'm going to hide everything can you see this what is the prevailing trend here what is the prevailing trend friends up right up is there something on the left of it it is at all time high should you be expecting very big big a reversal from this place should you be expecting big big reversal from this place not currently it is not having any distribution but at least if it is on weekly it is on weekly it is going to hold for at least how many days or how many sessions how many weekly sessions 1 2 3 and 4 that makes it a month isn't isn't that something what i just said right so this is the dark cloud cover can you see this it is closing below the 50% of the candles range are you able to see it now is it is able to close below 5807 right so what i should be doing now is uh, this is weekly i should be going on to the daily chart right and the next key level on the lower time frame like on on this time frame the key level uh is this rally base rally a key level can i say that is it engulfing anything is there something on the left of it no right the next key level is this one because it is engulfing this resistance right so it should come down if at all it is not going to breach the high of that it is going to come down to 4980 see what it did from where exactly it reversed right so i go on to the daily chart but on daily that pattern was confirmed on uh, 4th of november so 4th of november and remember friends i want to be in the trade in the next three sessions maximum okay and this pattern is bearish but not as bearish as bearish engulf 
So max to max, I'm going to wait for three candles there. So here, here I have, I'm having this drop base drop as my level, but is this drop base drop, like this is the 4th November candle, is this drop base drop worth taking a trade in because is it engulfing any zone on this time frame? Is it engulfing anything? No, right? Neither the support is engulfed nor the zone is engulfed. So I'll go on to the 60 minute chart. No, no choice I have other than that. So on 60 minute, on 60 minute, can you see that when the 4th November, like this was the 4th November chart. So here, the price actually and the 60 minute supply engulfed the 60 minute demand. I have the source of engulf. Opposite source of engulf now let's check. So the opposite source of engulf is where? This is the opposite source of engulf. Can you see it friends? I look left and down. I find a demand. This is a demand. Now I check whether it has engulfed anything or not. It has engulfed this zone. So that becomes my maximum target, right? Now, if I plan an entry like this and put my stop loss above that and target like this, am I getting a good RR? Not even two is to one. Now, what should be my approach? Lower time frame. Okay. Now friends, this is happening near all time high. You need to understand that if it is happening at all time high, the reversal will be very steep, especially with the dark cloud cover uh, happening on the weekly chart. So now my approach should be one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute like that till, I, till the point that I am having a good zone, uh, a good engulf on arrival, price action entry. Let's check one minute. And it should happen very close to, very close to my 60 minute zone, very close to it. So price was coming up, like the pattern was confirmed on 4th of November, the very next day I'm observing this. So what happens? The very next day, can you see this? This demand got engulfed by this supply. Now there is two, there are two things here. This is the source of engulf. Everyone agrees to this and that the above one is the origin of the engulf. Origin of the engulf, source of engulf. Now I am in this trade for big target. Am I in this trade for just impulse, just corrective short move on the downside? See, both are getting respected. So if I'm in this trade for big target, I should be relying on the origin of the engulf. I may choose to take an entry in the source of engulf that is totally up to me, but the stop loss should at all times should be above the origin of the engulf. Yes, we should rely on the origin of the engulf if your source of engulf and origin of the engulf are so close by and you are in it for a big target. All right. So, so what you do is you ignore the source of engulf, you look at the origin of the engulf. You plan your entry like that, stop loss above that, the origin of the engulf. And the target, target is this, the 60 minute opposite zone. So how much RR are you getting? And in how many days? One day, two day, you got entry the very next day after the pattern was confirmed. Okay. By the very next day, you got your target, almost 110 points you made, close to 10 is to 1 touch trade, no drawdown onto your position, touch trade and see it bounce from that level. So I am was not wrong in my, in booking my position there. Okay. Price was not moving down impulsively at the time. Are you clear with this trade? Are you all clear with this trade? I have just four more patterns to cover. So please bear with me. I've already extended today's session by 36 minutes. But are you clear with this? That your clarity is uh, more important now. 
I want to be in the trade in the next three sessions looking at the pattern. <clears throat> okay. So now what I do is uh, I'll I'll be if you're clear, I'll move on to the next pattern. You're clear? Okay. So the next pattern is a Harami pattern. So we have bullish and bearish Harami as the reversal patterns. All right. So bullish or bearish Harami pattern is a two candle reversal pattern. So <clears throat> Harami in Japanese, it means pregnant lady. Okay. So this is the lady and this is her baby like that. You can think of this in that manner. Okay. <clears throat> so that is why it, it based on the structure of it, we are calling it as the Harami pattern. First candle continues the trend direction. Second candle real body is contained within the first candle real body. This candle may be either green or red. Okay. It can be green or red. It doesn't matter. Ideally, it should be of the opposite color, but it can be green as well. Like in this case, the green candle is there. This can also be green, but the body should be contained inside this candle's body. And ideally, there should be a pro gap. Pro gap should happen. Right. But this is this pattern is uh, not as strong as the bullish engulf or uh, or the piercing pattern. Okay, not as strong as that, but it is uh, it is a pattern which is uh, having some importance for us. So let's check some examples. It should be if it is a reversal pattern, it should be happening in a trending market, right? So uptrend for uptrend, it should be having a bearish reversal for downtrend. It should be having a bullish reversal, right? And in this case, in this case, the recent most price action move is uh, in case of a bearish reversal is on the downside because of this red candle color. Had this been a green candle, had this been a green candle, then you require additional confirmation. Then you're going to take help of this. The price trades above the pattern for a bottom reversal or below the pattern for a top reversal. So at this candle being a green candle, price needs to trade below the real body of that candle. Only then the top is going to be considered that the top is in place. Everyone clear with that? Everyone clear with that? So I have these two examples for you. These two examples. Left one is the bullish Harami pattern, red and then green after a fall in price. Then after a rally in price, green and then red. This is the ideal case, friends. Very rarely you'll get uh, the candlesticks of the same color. Very rarely. And only in scripts which are not that liquid. And any which any case, we are not going to trade scripts which are not that liquid. So this is the bearish Harami. Okay. <clears throat> Structurally, are you clear with this? See what what is happening here essentially. After a fall in price, you have bullish Harami, and then you have bullish engulf. Are you able to visualize it? Are you able to see that, friends? So bullish engulf is more powerful because look at the move that is happening after the bullish engulf. Complete trend reversal. And after, just after the uh, after the bullish Harami pattern, price is consolidating there in this red candle. Similar is the case here. This is the bearish engulf. Consolidation after the bearish Harami. And then after the reversal, price fell like anything. In any case, we are going to rely on just the engulfs, right? So let's take examples of the two. I have in fee. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to hide everything. <coughs> mm. 
<coughs> now after a steep fall in price okay after a steep fall in price i am having some pause here right now this is a case where i just said that the color of the next candle it doesn't matter really so can you see that these two candles here these two candles precisely what kind of a pattern is this after a strong fall in price and with a minor support in place near a quarterly zone what kind of pattern is this bullish rally so we wait right we wait we wait for price to go above that right i just mentioned that if the color is the same then we wait for price to go above that and additionally we wait for some angles so if we do that then aren't we having this angle here aren't we having that angle there we are having it right we are having that angle so now the trade bias is confirmed you are going to take a long trade here okay now what should be the target okay now <clears throat> now the low here is actually low below the distal line of this and very close to that minor support is very close to that so if at all i am keeping my target i am keeping my entry there my stop loss should go below this low this low is very close to uh, my distal line and the actual buying actual buying it emerged from this place okay it emerged from this place so i should be including that in my stop loss now there are two ways to take this trade there are two ways to take this trade <clears throat> firstly you need to understand that if you are not having a very clear opposite source of angles very clear one then you look at i took this trade and my stop loss was below that green candle but exit early okay haman ji now you will understand you will understand uh, what should have been your approach and what should have been your target now can you see that this is a distribution can i simply ignore it can i keep a target beyond it no right i should not be doing so i should not be doing so now there are two ways to take this trade first one is of that person who has who does not have a time to to devote uh, for for the market in the live market so what he is going to do is see already there is an engulf on the daily chart but the stop loss stop loss is uh, not that great like it is close to 24 rupees stop loss almost 1 dtr i don't want that i mean you should not be thinking of that in that term so what you do is you go on to the 240 minute chart first as such the zone on the daily chart is very good three base candles strong move in strong leg out and in the leg out single leg out the zone is getting engulfed the opposite zone so i go on to the 240 minute chart i go on to the 240 minute chart now here okay okay so here this is my drop base rally base uh, uh, basically consolidation candle with a gap up so my zone is like this the opposite zone is this this is the opposite zone engulfing this demand right and shallow test was there so that is why i am not ignoring that and it is forming as a reaction to this distribution level so that is why i am not keeping my target beyond that so at all times my target will be that so if i am planning an entry here my stop loss below this green candle is low my target like this i am getting close to 4 is to 1 i am fine with it if not if not and i am a person who can devote some screen time what i'll be doing is i'll not be entering to this trade on 240 minute okay and even if i go on to the low time frame lower than this then this is going to be uh, an accumulation only this is consolidation happening and accumulation the 60 minute zone is going to remain at that place only right so i am going to go on to the lower time frame further lower than 60 and basically i am going to wear the hat of a person who can devote screen time 
okay straight away like that is my area of interest that 240 minute zone is my area of interest so i'll go on to the one minute chart straight away so on one minute for the first time price touched it it faked it out friends this is a learning for you and you're going to have a separate session of fake out whenever fake out happens big reversal happens now what kind of fake out was that how the reversal happens that you're going to learn more in detail in the upcoming session but you should not be losing interest in this long trade now okay we were looking for engulf on arrival that did not happen price fake the zone the area of interest out but as such our initial zone that is uh, when when we are planning to take our stop loss keep our stop loss below that that zone is not taken out if i mark it that way it is not taken out okay so i am still relying on that i am still relying on that so what i do is i wait for price to again come come very deep inside the zone and since the fake out has happened since the fake out has happened this is uh, this will be additional learning for you that you wait for higher low to form after a fall in price and then after the higher low is in place you wait for the engulf so can you see this i am zooming this for you higher low and and you have the engulf engulf of an authentic supply right so you keep your entry like this you keep your stop loss like this and target the 240 minute zone look at the rr friends look at the rr look at the rr and i am not going to hold my entire position till that point i already got 2 is to 1 here i got my entry here first time entry was uh, achieved at 950 by 1125 i got my 2 is to 1 i am going to book my 50% there take making this trade an emotional less trade and look at the rr ultimately it gave based on the 240 minute chart opposite angle on 240 minute what is the rr friends what is the rr so hemant ji are you now clear with the approach seems everyone is uh, blown off looking at the rr right so isn't that amazing isn't that amazing and see that is definitely going to require some patience right uh, this 51 times uh, is not going to happen overnight okay so how many days it took this was this happened on 1st of feb the entry was achieved on 1st of feb this is the power of higher low friends after a steep fall in price higher low formed and that engulfed the authentic supply zone and the target was achieved on 16 feb almost 2 weeks time almost 2 weeks time this is trade of the month friends trade of the month okay trade of the month one trades like that is going to uh, make sure that even if you get next 50 trades as your stop out trades you will not lose anything provided you are keeping the same risk per trade okay <clears throat> this is the power of engulf friends power of engulf so just opposite of that uh, i have already uh, exceeded my time quite a bit so i'm simply going to cover the uh, patterns now just two three patterns are remaining so just opposite of this is the bearish harami pattern i have uh, nmdc you look at the nmdc chart nmdc daily chart okay you look at it you're going you are going to understand what is happening there do this kind of analysis there you will get more clarity so i'm just simply going to take you through the patterns so morning star is basically nothing but uh, move in consolidation and a move out 
simple that we are all aware of. We have already studied this pattern in price structure session. How many of you remember this? This also a bullish reversal pattern. Not as bullish as the other patterns, but still worth considering. It is called as the morning star. Okay, why morning star? Because sun is rising. Basically, sun is rising. Here, the sun is rising like this, like that. Okay, so generally, ideally, there is a gap down and a gap up. That is the ideal case. Not always you are going to get that. Okay, not always. So you want more clarity to this? This is simple drop base rally. You want more clarity to it? Hello. Okay. <clears throat> so, opposite of drop base rally is what, friends? Ah, uh, yes, sure. I'll. I am never tired. You should just tell me. <clears throat> yeah. Only thing is, if you are not tired, then I'll answer. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, Yusuf, you type your uh, question. I'm going to take you through uh, the setup, how it looks like. So it should be forming after a downtrend. Okay, after a downtrend. Now, ideal case was there should be a gap down and a gap up. Now, in this example, you're not having that. So it is a simple case of drop base rally. You'll get plenty of examples of such structures. Okay, <clears throat> and confirmation is not required because the recent most price action is on the upside after a steep fall in price so the engulf will be there on the lower time frame so we don't require additional confirmation it is just for the sake of your knowledge that it should start trading about the real body of the long green candle that is the move out candle okay an example of that is this <clears throat> you had any anything to ask yusuf or you just wanted me to explain this in more detail like i just did okay okay so this is just simple a demand zone, demand zone on the lower time frame in this candle, you'll be having some supply getting engulfed here, right? And that is why it is working. Okay, price moving up. This is monthly chart, so it is going to hold for at least one quarter. And it did more than that, actually. So <clears throat> after that, just opposite of uh, drop base rally is what friends? Evening star, sun is setting, basically. So what is that? Uh, friends, it seems you all are tired. Actually, I am not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just opposite of that is what? Rally based drop, perish structure. Right? Again, three candlestick pattern structure, reversal pattern called as the evening star, opposite of morning star. Okay, it is a rally base drop basically gaps up the, the base gaps up and then there is a gap down the next day. That is the ideal case. It does not happen all the time. Okay, look at this. This was half yearly chart of Tata Steel and look at the reversal after that. Okay, look at the reversal after that. So all in all, all in all, what you learned today, the location is important. Prevailing trend is important. And the engulf is very much important to take a trade there, right? That was the gist of today's session. So it should be forming like how it came. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. So this, this is the structure. This is actually the ideal structure which was there on this chart. 
if the trend is changing in higher time frame it will be trending in the same direction for long time <clears throat> see there are different trends on different time frames every time frame has its own trend so if you are observing this pattern let's say this pattern is there on the daily chart this pattern is there on the daily chart so daily trend will be taken into consideration now what may happen is on the weekly chart this uptrend may be just a corrective up move on the weekly chart because weekly the slip is in a downtrend okay so <clears throat> it it is certainly going to go down because here it is re reversing its trend so it is going to align with the weekly trend now and that is why uh, for a week it is going to hold the pattern validity is going to be one time frame higher than this and that is why i want to be in the trade as soon as possible as soon as possible i want to be in that trade because i i want to catch this trade as soon as it is aligning with the weekly trend because if the weekly trend continues if the price continues with the weekly trend it is going to give me very good rr and rr is what all that matters and confirmation is not required because the recent most price move is uh, very strong bearish so not required at all so this is the example of that on the lower time this happened on half yearly so it is going to hold for at least one year and it did it halved from that price the low was i think around 250 level this happened near 660 level and the low was made was uh, 250 round about this is tata steel then comes one of the most uh, rarest of the rare price action uh, candlestick pattern basically called as the island reversal and friends don't worry this is the last pattern i am having for you today okay so don't worry this is the island reversal so island reversal is where it is a bullish or a bearish candlestick pattern basically a set of candles are there not just one or two candles or three candles it is a set of candle basically anything more than two is a set of candle right can you see this in this picture that how the price is gapping up <laughs> yeah so price gaps up and price gaps down okay so first candle continues the trend direction by gapping in its direction in the last candle after a series of candles market gaps down in the opposite direction and that is how it is it is going to form in a trending market okay and at all times this should be this should be the western style of gap friends western style of gap wicks should not be touching the other candles wicks okay wicks are not touching the other candles wicks the set of these candles any wick of all these candles are not touching the wick of these candles okay it should not if it is touching then this is not island reversal the western way all right it is not so it should be forming after a trending market okay and it is very very rare price action structure friends and it is going to have lot of significance and it is so bearish or so bullish that the confirmation is actually not required price is anyway trading above the pattern okay this is basically bottom reversal or top reversal pattern so this is the indian chart of that it is wipro can you see this price gapped up and then after two three candles it gapped down and there was no wick touching each other so how this is important is when price comes close to it you should look for engulf on arrival and take a short trade just an extens extension of this is one candle pattern called as the abandoned baby abandoned baby because single candle has been abandoned like anything and it is a small candle because it is a consolidation candle now you tell me friends abandoned baby candlestick pattern is more bullish or bearish or uh, uh, island reversal is more bullish or bearish i mean if i am considering just the bearish structure then which is more bearish abandoned baby or island reversal also give me the reason don't just uh, see it is a 50 50 chance that you are right so don't just 
guess. Okay, give me a reason. Give me a reason. Longer the consolidation, there is more candle than abandoned baby. Okay, so bigger the accumulation or distribution is, bigger the bounce from it is, right? So you are right, correct. You are very much correct. And I think you are paying close attention, Anshil. Uh, this is something what I mentioned uh, in the review of accumulation and distribution. Yes, so you are right. <clears throat> so that brings us to the end of today's session. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, do we see this on lower time frame? Yes, uh, this abandoned. See, this abandoned candlestick pattern was there also on Nifty chart. But it was not happening at appropriate location. But just for for your knowledge, this abandoned baby is actually uh, island reversal on the lower time frame. So you get some patterns like this on the lower time frame, but it is rarest of the rare pattern. You'll not get it very often. It is generally created along with some major news, and this happened uh, around uh, demonetization news. Okay. So that brings us to the end. You need to identify at least one example of each type of pattern discussed today and try to find a trade based on it. You need to do the, you need to follow the approach that I just discussed with you today. Just considering the engulf, you'll get more clarity on engulf like this. And believe me, friends, if you get your hands right like this, then there is nothing like it. You'll get phenomenal trades, phenomenal trades. <clears throat> so thank you so much. And uh, <clears throat> good night.